NBC 10 response has new details about a story we've been following for years now. The Commonwealth of Pennsylvania has just filed a new lawsuit against a headstone company that's accused of taking advantage of customers during their time of grief. The lawsuit alleges Gregory Steffen Sr., along with his sons, Gregory Steffen Jr. and Gerard Steffen, signed contracts with customers but either did not deliver the headstones, delivered them late, or did not deliver refunds that were requested by the consumers. The state says it's received more than 100 complaints about the headstone company 1843 LLC, which goes by the names Lifestone by Steffen, Colonial Memorials, Steffen Memorial Group, the Memorial Company, Gallagher Memorials, Alessi Memorials, 1843 Memorials Cartledge, 1843 New Britain, Quakertown Memorials. These folks committed egregious violations. According to the lawsuit, the Commonwealth believes the defendants have used, are using, are about to use methods, acts, or practices declared unlawful by the state's consumer protection law. One tactic they employed was to cold call people and lie to them about how they had gotten their name. Lisa Birch tells NBC10 Responds this happened to her elderly mom. It was within a week of my father's burial. Very emotional time, of course. That was in 2018. According to Lisa, the headstone was never delivered. We are working now through this lawsuit to permanently put them out of business. NBC10 Responds reached out to the attorney representing the company, but we have yet to hear a response. Over the years, we've heard from dozens of viewers who reached out to NBC10 Response for help after doing business with 1843. Earlier this week, we told you about three local women who all received their headstones after NBC10 Response contacted the company. Lisa is one of those viewers. There's no doubt there would be no stone without NBC10. So I'm very grateful. Attorney General Shapiro says his office is working to get consumers their headstones or their money back. He also says if you think you've been ripped off, you should email their office at scams at attorneygeneral.gov. We've also posted a link to file a complaint with the AG's office on NBC10.com slash respond.